Hello, and welcome to this episode of Creating Photos and Videos. And just to reiterate what this channel really is about, not this channel, but this series is really about, it's about showing my warts, as I said early on. That is to say, as I experiment learning how to use new technologies, new, new equipment, new cameras, and whatever, I want to share that with those of you who have subscribed to my channel or, or happen to tune in. And uh, so what I'm going to show you in a little bit is an example of one of those warts, if you will, because it was not a great video quality. The, the video quality is really quite good, but there's, when I recorded what I'm going to show you, I did it yesterday in the afternoon, so the sun was over here, and it was just blowing out the sky and everything. I'm in the same place I was yesterday, but it's more, well, it's noon. And uh, we have a really nice sunny day, almost 65 degree weather. So I want to take advantage of this because the next five days or so are going to be rainy. But again, the, the, the purpose of this series is to share with you, as I said, those failures that I have as well as the successes and as a result to recommend different equipment or different uh, strategies and so on in making videos and photos as well. I, what I have now is um, my Insta 360 One X2 360 camera on one of my skinny tripods. I still have the clamp there that I used, that you'll see in the next section of this video, that holds the Comica wireless mic receiver. But today I'm using a um, my Purple Panda uh, mic, lavalier mic, that is connected to an extension cord and over to the camera itself, plugged into the camera via the mic adapter. So I wanted to try that audio. And again, I'm right outside, right behind us is a rather busy street with lots of noise. And you're probably hearing some of that, but the audio should be fairly decent of my voice. And uh, that's, that's of course the intent. The other thing is I'm setting this, I'm not using the 360 camera in its 360 mode, but rather uh, I started out choosing 150. I'm still learning how to navigate this little machine and uh, also the app that, that uh, goes with it that lets you edit video after the fact. So what I've done is uh, set it to 150, then I went into the settings and I chose instead of, I don't know if it was ultra wide or whatever, but I've chosen wide so it's not quite, it's not showing a real wide screen here. and. Um, it is uh, in HDR mode. So I'm using this really using as a normal video camera, so to speak. And I, uh, as I said, was mainly interested in the trying this as well as my extension cord idea. The extension cord idea is uh, useful if I can be, I'm probably maybe 10 feet away from the, the camera. And that's decent, so there's still slack in the, in the line, but the thing that would concern me is that I would pull the tripod over. So if, if I'm in this kind of situation, this is a usable, very quick setup uh, kind of mic arrangement. Okay, so that's that. Now, what I'm gonna show you is a video I took yesterday using the 360 mode, where I had the camera exactly where it is now. I've got a uh, fig tree, would be perhaps what I was going to draw and I was sitting in this chair. And the purpose of my making that video and sharing it with you, even with its, its warts showing, is that this was my first attempt at really trying to take a, a full length video, and full, by full length I mean it's maybe about four minutes long, and editing it in very, a variety of ways so that you're seeing just me and then you're seeing just the tree and then you're seeing a split screen with me and the tree. And what is supposed to happen is the camera, through its AI, chooses the person, and that's kind of in froze frame. You can't do anything to that. And then the other frame is the other lens, um, or the view of the other lens, and you're able to manipulate that just as you can with all 360 video. So for some reason, it chose to focus on the tree or our garage as the fixed frame, and I was the uh, frame that you could change. I have to say, I've been looking at tutorials by Best360, young man in uh, London, 
who does a whole lot of 360 video ed, uh, tutors, tutoring videos, and they're very good, and I want to applaud him. I was able to manipulate the, the footage, so what I learned this morning was that I could take a video that I had edited and clear all the previous edits. So the, video, the full video is still there on my iPhone, or actually it was on my iPad. And I was able to re-edit that video from scratch and was able to trim it to where I wanted it and then to have it focused on me and then have it swivel around and show the fig tree. Okay, so I did that and then I tried doing multi-view, which is what gives you the side-by-side -side or top on bottom and uh, or a picture in a picture. And that's, um, so I have part of it part of the video you're going to see is in that mode. So let's take a look at that video and I'll be back right afterwards. This is again using the Insta360 ONE X2 camera I just recently got. I've got my Kamika wireless mic set all ready to go. I've got a lavalier on me. Transmitter's right here. Receiver is attached to the pole as you see in the in the photo and uh, it's a you know, it's amazing. It just goes to show you that when you buy something and you think you have a use for it and then you really don't use it very much, don't throw it away, don't sell it, hang on to it. I've had this little clamp for a number of years and it's come in handy on several occasions, but here's one. So this would be the setup that I would typically use where I'm sitting in a chair, the 360 cameras between me and that tree over there, which is a fig tree, and let's say I want to sketch that, so I would be sitting here and I'd sketch it. And I can also, in one mode, and I'll try that in a minute, have it so that it's split view, so you can see both me as I'm talking and talking about what I'm seeing, why I'm doing certain things, and then you're seeing the thing that, in this case, I would be sketching. Or I might do that magnolia tree over there, or even the back of our garage, something, you know, it's, it's funny, in sketches, something as mundane as that can look pretty cool. So that's the idea of how I plan to use Okay, a little bright, wasn't it? Well, hopefully at least it shows you what, as a, as a novice, I'm learning how to do. And, and with the help of this Best 360 Guys tutorials is, is, is what has made it possible for me to do it. Thanks for checking in on this episode of Creating Photos and Videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Who knows, might be soon. Bye.